Now that you've got your new T3 dryer, let's get it set up together. First things first, this dryer has five heat settings and three speed settings, meaning a total of 15 speed and heat combinations so that you get the perfect speed and heat combination for your individual personal hair every single time. What I love about this dryer is we're gonna input our hair texture and we're also going to input our desired styling results. And this tool is going to assign you the perfect heat and speed combinations for your hair type and desired style. First things first, we wanna know our hair texture. It's really easy to diagnose, let's do it together. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is grab a single individual strand of hair and run it through your index finger and your thumb. Now if you can't really feel that strand of hair and you can't really see that individual strand of hair with your naked eye, you have a fine hair type. Now if you can feel that strand of hair, but it still feels smooth, and you can probably start to see that strand of hair with the naked eye, you have medium textured hair. Now if you can definitely feel that strand of hair, you can even start to feel some texture on there, some bumps, and you can see that individual strand of hair with the naked eye, you have coarse hair. Now, if you've got fine hair, you need less heat to style and dry your hair. If you've got a coarser hair type, you need more heat to style and dry your hair. This is why hair texture is really important in diagnosing your heat. So what we're gonna do is turn on the dryer, and I'm gonna press and hold the S plus button to toggle through the different hair textures. So when one light's illuminated, you're on the fine hair texture setting, two is medium, and three is coarse. I have fine hair, so I'll press and hold it until the fine hair is illuminated. Next, we wanna input our desired style. There are four options for your desired style. So first is going to be rough dry. That's for when you just get out of the shower, you've towel dried your hair, you've got all that free standing water, and you wanna start the drying process. That's gonna be your rough dry input. Now, let's say you've dried your hair about 80%, it's just damp, and you're gonna go in with your paddle brush for a smooth, sleek, frizz-free blowout. That's going to be your smooth selection on the dryer. Now, if you're gonna use a round brush for your blowout and you want that big, voluminous, bouncy statement hair, you're gonna select volume. We also have an input for diffusing your hair. So if you're gonna be using a diffuser to enhance and build up those beautiful natural curls, that's gonna be your input. And to toggle between them, we simply click the S plus button. And let's say I wanted to diffuse my hair. Now we're ready to go. And the dryer automatically input my heat and speed settings for fine hair and diffusing my hair. What I love about this dryer is it's gonna remember those heat settings. So when I go in and I go to style my hair, the next time it's gonna be on those speed and heat settings. If you want to change your settings, you just follow this process again. Turn on your dryer and press and hold the S plus button to change your hair texture or click the S plus button through the different desired styling results. Now, let's say you just wanna manually change your speed and heat settings. All you have to do when the dryer is on is click those buttons to change your speed and heat settings. There you have it. Now you are ready to style your hair.